We're about to make some new friends, and we're going to hurt some feelings. Oh, Alex, Alex, man, buddy. Now, I distinctly remember last time we spoke, me voicing my concerns, offering you some solutions. Yet here we are, a couple of months later, the same old routine, the same old stuff, and I think I'm going to put an end to it. Now, I may not actually put an end to it, but I'm at least going to get it out there. Let people make up their own decisions, you know, the way it should be. Now, by and by, there's been videos made, after videos made, after videos made of information that isn't the least bit accurate. It's not even close to being realistic, especially for people starting up, which is your bread and butter, by the way. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that I don't know it all. There ain't nobody on this platform that knows it all. But collectively, I think we got a pretty good thing going on here with one odd man out. That odd man out is you, the self-proclaimed king of hotshot. You know, since all that matters is your sub count. Not experience. Not proof. None of that. Just subscribers. So let's put some of that to the test a little bit. Let's cover your last video about gross earnings. Now you claim that with all things considered and you're tying in a whole bunch of stuff that's got nothing to do with anybody trying to get into this, but you gross 400K on 140,000 miles. Let's just take into consideration how much money you said you made and the mileage it took to make that last year. Let's do the miles. So if we're doing 140,000 miles um, a year right now, guys, I'm not, these aren't like made up numbers. These are my actual numbers. I've documented out here on YouTube. What was that? If we're doing 140,000 miles um, a year. Right? One more time. Right now, guys, I'm not, these aren't like made up numbers. These are my actual numbers. I've documented on. That's, that's weird. I won't be the one to tell anybody why those numbers don't match. That ain't my place. And it's not like you're going to tell anybody because you don't answer anything anybody asks in your channel because all that matters to them is that they watch your video and scroll through them ads. What you say don't have to be accurate. What you do don't have to be accurate. Just as long as you get them views. Let's add up how many trucks you went through in 2019. For some reason, you documented that on YouTube, even though the math don't make sense, but you let everybody know what the mileage was when you turned them over and the time frame in between. Now you would think that most simple people could do a little bit of subtraction, addition and multiplication, possibly even some division, but that don't seem to be the case because here you are racking up the views having people comment on your channel that you're pumping out that knowledge. <laughs> Ooh, knowledge, boy, that's a, that's a strong word to use when it comes down to that. And also let you know that your influence could do a whole lot of good for somebody other than yourself, which you've actually put out in figures. Like I said, again, for anybody who can do a little simple math, that your channel is the only reason you still have numbers on your door. Because if anybody that's on YouTube right now that's making it in the hotshot industry, it ain't you. You're making it in the YouTube industry, wearing a mask as a transport company. So now that I got some, uh, some wheels turning in some people's heads, let's go ahead and put a cap on this and uh, see what Alex says about it. He don't necessarily have to come clean, but a little bit of truth wouldn't hurt anybody, would it? Especially when the audience that your channel thrives on are people looking for information on how to do what you do. But now when you're telling people that you're doing something and that ain't really what you're doing, well, in my book, that's lying. And I can't stand liars, especially when they make me look like I don't know what I'm talking about. So here you go, buddy. Christmas gift for me to you. I never would have guessed that by having a hundred, almost 100 K subs on YouTube, you know, people will be jealous of your success. Or, okay, let me correct that. People would be jealous of your appearance of success. 
There you go, that's the truth right there. What y'all think about that?